The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, alongside other educational associations, came out in mass to protest against the continuous neglect by the federal government to put an end to the ASU nationwide strike, which has spanned over five months. Recall that months ago, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, pleaded with the federal government to improve the standard of living of lecturers and also improve the educational sector in the country by increasing the funds being allocated to the sector. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Fanala SEN, who joined the protest, called for the immediate halt to the nationwide ASU strike, saying that the country is indeed blessed and as such has the capacity to increase the funds being allocated to the educational sector. We are telling the government that enough is enough. Enough of killing of our people. Enough of strikes in our tertiary institutions. Uh, for Nigerians and for workers. We want to thank workers. What you have demonstrated to me is your capacity to take power in Nigeria. Now you must be ready. A few of them, about 400, took loans from our banks, called them toxic loans, 5.4 trillion is all now. Do you understand me? This government claimed that it wants to spend 6.5 trillion on the importation of SMM payments. We are saying this is fraudulent. Speaking on the role the government has to play in bringing about a better and improved standard of education in the nation, representatives of various educational sectors gave their words on this. We are here to ask Nigerians to join us in ensuring that this government do the need to. We are tired to be at home. We love, we love doing our work and strike is a lack of control. We strike and call on us by an irresponsible and uncaring government. The government that wants to develop and that cares about the of these people must invest in education, particularly in university education. Second is two products. They are the raw materials of the university. There must be connectivity. We are playing in trade. So we will receive everything humanly possible that we create the Akuna in the education sector. Our students have been at home. And it's as a bad, as a, as a, as a bad call. The federal government and the ASU agreement in 2009, also federal government and SANU agreement in 2009. That's why we are architecting that federal government to honor a gentleman agreement. Already there was a memorandum of understanding, there was a memorandum of action. The federal government to implement the agreement we made with all the staff junior in the universities. Residents of Lagos also spoke on the intentional neglect on the part of the government in seeing to the demands of various academic associations. It's a strange thing for the government of this nation to have death years, you know, to issues that pertain to academics in this part of the world. There's no reason why there should be no meeting point between the ISU and the federal government. These are people that spend so much money, even procuring registration fee for their party, only to turn their ears to the yearning desires of those who created quality education, who invested in their life too, to get to this stage. Well, as to strike often and often, it's not, even, it's not making sense. There are some students that maybe when they want to resume now, they will know that, okay, we are spending four years, but spending four years now is not turning to another eight years, or eight years, ten years. It's not, it's not called for at all. Whereas we have, we have senators and us of them that are collecting 33 million or over and more than self. It's not called for, honestly. They know what can solve the issue of this country, but they don't want to do it. Education, they say, is key to an improved and better standard of living. As such, it is important for the government, both at the state and federal level, to attend to the needs of the associations and put an halt to the continuous nationwide strike to allow students to complete their educational careers. From Lagos, Emmanuel Ulubububu, Kaftan Television.